purpose of this video is to help you identify a uh, confined space and what to do when encountered with that situation. Um, there are three things that you have to take in consideration in order to deem a certain area a confined space. Um, the first one, according to OSHA, is the space must be large enough and so configured that an employee can bodily enter and perform assigned work. Now, what does that mean? Um, all it is is pretty much the area you're going to enter is big enough for you to get in and perform the work. If you can't get in there, obviously you're not going to be able to get in there, which if you try, something might happen and it'll be difficult to try to get you out in a case of an emergency. So that's one. Uh, the second one, the space must have limited or restricted means of entry, meaning one way in, one way out. Okay, so pretty much simple. The second, the third one is the space must not be designed for continu continuous employee occupancy. What does that mean? It's not meant to be there or live in it for long-term occupancy, simply. Okay, in order for it to be deep to find space, all three of those have to be um, there for it to be a confined space. So there's there's a, also it can be underground or above ground too. So it's not, don't get focused or don't get single-minded on just underground. It can be above also, above a little room, above ground also. Just remember it has to have those three intact, okay? Now, what do you do? In order for you to make it safe to go in there, Okay, we have these which serve multiple uh, purposes. This is a gas tester and also oxygen tester. Um, so, you know, it works that way. First things first, you turn it on, let it cycle, it'll cycle through. Testing for oxygen, testing for CO, carbon monoxide and other gases so it serves all those purposes there it is test okay and cycle through you let it go through now in order to do the testing in the confined space you want to test at three different levels okay you don't want to just go ahead and jump in there with it on without testing first so you start at the top you divide the space in three different levels Start slow, don't just drop it in there, because sometimes these areas have water. So you start at the top, top level, the top layer right there, for about 10 to 15 seconds. Let it do its thing, and it's testing for oxygen gases. Now remember, gases are heavier than air, so gases will tend to be lower on the ground. 10 seconds, now you go down, second level. seconds now you go down all the way obviously not to the floor but to the third level ten seconds there now you would be able if there was something wrong with the hole down there you would be able to know because this will be beeping and going off there's sensors on it and alarms on there that'll let you know that there's something wrong okay now, that's not enough. In order for me to get down there and work, I have to continuously be monitoring the hole, meaning I go down there, leave the oxygen gas tester down there while I'm performing work, okay? On top of that, tie it off. Identify location. I write the location down. Um, this is a new vault, so I'll, I'll check with my inspector and write it here. But 
825 time 926 oxygen okay flammable okay toxics or gases or anything okay initial okay so that's the other part while I'm down there doing the work I have to continuously be monitoring that area whether it's here or there now you go on a break for lunch you close the hole up get your oxygen tester out you go take your hour break you come back it's required in order for you to get back in there again to go ahead and perform the same test that you did initially the first time you may not enter unless you have the actual proper testing equipment and do the same criteria uh, follow the same instructions now in the instance that that oxygen tester gas test is going off what do i do i get my blower hook it up put the blower in there get the oxygen tester out let the air cycle okay let that blower do its thing cycle cycle for about a couple minutes once you think it's done stop the blower drop the oxygen gas tester in there and test again okay if it, for some instance it keeps going off that doesn't make it right just to put the blower in there okay now i got uh, air coming in that doesn't make it right you need to identify what the situation is down there before going in there you don't know what's causing that oxygen tester to go off you need to trust your equipment at that point you get with your foreman or whoever is in charge of the job and you let them know hey there's something wrong with this let them identify and figure out how to fix it okay and close the hole and go about uh, for the rest of the day whatever you got to do another thing to remember the blower is not enough in order for you to work in a confined space you have to have both at the same time oxygen tester and the blower the blower is not enough okay um, at this point if you guys have any questions um, get with the uh, safety guys or whoever's in charge of the job Thank you.